Today we live in a fast-paced world with high-speed connections, food to go, and products designed to be replaced easily. We're far removed from many of the struggles and triumphs previous generations experienced. But the distance between today and 100 years ago is not impassable. Come along as we explore our connection with our history through an institution often taken for granted, the Small Town Museum. Daily life from previous generations has been preserved through the efforts of volunteers committed to rescuing the objects of the past. These museums offer just a glimpse into what life was like for early generations in eastern Washington. And they are so much more than just a collection of objects. Though the items on display may be similar, each museum has its own unique story and identity. Next stop, Waitsburg. The Waitsburg Historical Society has painstakingly labored to restore and refurnish the Bruce House. William Perry and Caroline O'Neill Bruce built this lovely home in 1883 on the corner of Main and Fourth. The Waitsburg Historical Society acquired the home in 1971, and the Society is very proud that all restorations to the house have been done without the use of federal funds. Upon entering the home, you are confronted with the stairway leading to the second floor and a beautiful banister that was shipped from the east around the horn and then transported by wagon to the home. The furnishings in the home are a good example of the Touchette Valley. For example, this Baileysburg chair, constructed of wood and caned, was constructed in Baileysburg, Washington, a small furniture making village near Dayton. The dining room that features Blue Willow China was donated by local families. The second floor is home to the library and items unique to Waitsburg's history. including a wonderful collection of children's furniture and toys. Across the hall is all furniture original to the house, as well as the wedding dress worn by the Bruce's daughter, Mary Ellen. Well, I think we're very proud of it, and everyone in Waitsburg is very proud of it. So it's a, it's a good thing to be doing. We've got to keep it going. These museums are living treasures, not just for the pieces stored in them, but the lives connected to them. The volunteers and staff who make them run bring a wealth of local history to life, illustrating how much our connection with our history is not fueled simply by objects, but by our connections with each other. <laughs> 